If after this you must walk in wonders, number one, John chapter 2, verse 2, the Bible says, John chapter 2, verse 1, there was a marriage feast in Cana. And what did they do in John 2 2? John 2 2, he said, Jesus was invited. Look at this, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the way to the marriage. If after this, there must be a manifestation of unexplainable wonders in your life and family, never do anything without inviting Jesus. No matter who took the wine, it can be replaced with a better wine as long as Jesus is around. Am I speaking to someone here? Never do anything without him. I heard the story of a family who were traveling and then I think they were discussing and then the topic of Jesus came. They had eggs, raw eggs, crates of eggs in the boot. And they said, where's the space for Jesus? They said, if you don't mind, Jesus can stay in the trunk. The car had an accident. Everybody inside the car died. The eggs in the boot were preserved. Because to them, they kept him in the trunk. Am I speaking to someone here? If you must do wonders, you can't do wonders without him. Am I talking to someone here? After this, I just came to talk to somebody. I've been through life. Time is not my friend to tell you my story. I've been through life. I made up my mind to approach life in an unusual way. Because nothing stops reproach like approach. You can't keep approaching life like others and respect not to suffer the same reproach they suffered. And I came to Shiloh, the same prayer point seven times, maybe six times. There was no miracle. But when she came to Shiloh the seven times, she came with a change of approach and she stopped the reproach. Every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, don't serve God like Canadians. Don't serve God like Americans. Don't serve God like Nigerians. Serve God like Christians. Be sold out to the Jesus you stand for. I was not a saint. I'm only a saint. I was not a pastor from my mother's home. I have a past. I'm a product from a story. I got my message from the meds. I only had a second chance. When everything was against me, Jesus picked me up and gave me this opportunity. That's why we are diehard followers of Christ. No matter what you do, you can't separate us. That's the level Paul got. He said, what shall separate us from the love of God? Listen to me. Don't let Canadian dollar take you out of God. Don't let a situation take you out of God. This is the month for you to get deeper and deeper into the matters of God. Last month I learned was our month of God's promises. His promises are yea and amen. All you need to do is to do your part and enjoy God's part. It's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. We are walking into wonders. You can become a wonder. Am I talking to someone here? Every one of you must know this. Involve Jesus in everything. Not some things. He was invited. You may not know the importance of Jesus around or in your life until a situation comes around. Am I speaking to someone here? Man of God is in the midst of terrible situations that you know that even the unbeliever believes in Jesus. In the midst of terrible situations, that's when you hear a man who claims not to believe in Jesus shouting Jesus. Because in their subconscious, they know that there's only one name through which men shall be saved. And that's the name of Jesus. After this... Your beauty shall be obvious. Amen. I say your beauty will be obvious. Amen. Number two, after this, if after this you must walk in wonders, desire an encounter. The Mark chapter 5, Mark version of the woman with the issue of blood. If you look at it, I think in verse 28, the woman said to herself, in 27, she heard about Jesus. In 28, she said to herself, if I can but touch. It is not the gospel that Pastor Dio preaches that changes you as it were. It is the gospel you hear from him that you re-preach to yourself. That's what brings your encounter. Many of us, we hear him, but how many of us actually hear him? He said, for the entrance of thy word, bring it light. And understanding to the simple is not to hear, it's for you to enter. Lord, give me an encounter. Men who walk in wonders are men who have had an encounter with God. I've met God on, this, on the path and no man was there. I tell people, my revelation is my strength. 
my condition don't shake me because I have an understanding of my revelation. Men who have had the encounter with God, they don't go back to the world, they go back to better. Somebody didn't hear that. Men who have had the encounter with God, when shakings come, they don't go back to the world, they go back to where? To better. Know where better is? Where they first met God. The reason why any small thing you are going back is I'm going back to club. I'm tired of church is that you never had an encounter. When you have an encounter, you don't go back to club. You go back to Bethel where you first met him. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, if I can but touch. You need to tell yourself some truth. Am I being fair to the God who has given me life? The first time there's a part of Lagos where they had an orthopedic hospital. It will be. Man of God, something took me there. And they showed me a man. One of his machines were packed outside. You know, in Canada, your machine is not the true explanation of your worth because of the way you get it. But in Nigeria, you pay cash. So the man's car that was outside was heavy. But the man's leg was hanged. They hanged his leg. On what do they call it? Whatever. The suspender they use for people who are fractured or whatever. Could not walk. I walked through. I saw men without legs. And yet you are blaming God that you don't have shoes. You need an encounter. If you want to walk in one that's long for an encounter. Don't tell me about the Jesus your mother told you. Tell me about the Jesus you have met. Have you met with this Jesus? A lot of us are preaching that Jesus, our pastor told us, like the seven sons of Sceva, who began to talk about the Jesus who Paul preached, not the Jesus they have met. I want to talk about the Jesus I've met. Am I speaking to someone? I want to get to a junction when I can say, Jesus today, Jesus tomorrow. Am I talking to someone here? Have you met with this Jesus? Long for an encounter. The passion at which you look for shift, use it to look for an encounter. Somebody didn't hear me. This supply has a source. This supply has a source. Man of God, ravens. Ravens they bring, brooks they bust water, widows they sacrifice. This resource has a source. This I an encounter. I told my wife, what's keeping me? It's not just the weight of love I have for you. It's the encounter I had with my God. I can't go back to the world. I can only go back to Bethel. Man of God have been injured in life and destiny. Ministry. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He shall receive power. In Acts chapter 2 they receive power. In Acts chapter 3 there was a manifestation of power. In Acts chapter 4 there was a shaking. When they shook the shaking came. They didn't go back to the world. They went back to the upper room. Where they first met God. Where have you met him? Have you met God on your journey to heaven? Where have you met God? This is what keeps you. After this I want someone to long in the month of walking in wonders. Jesus I want to have a personal encounter with you I want to know you I want to know you am I speaking to someone you can enter the realm of unexplainable miracles you can be in the realms of wonders you can you can please give me a sign sir can I say this I don't live my life on my five loaves and two fishes. My wife knows my worth, but is amazed at my worth. My worth in terms of calculations, achievement, is not compared to my worth in terms of what you think. There are men who their hands is five loaves, I repeat, and two fishes, but they have 12 baskets in their storehouse. There are 5,000 men to show who eat from them, yet they are not broke. Because why? They've entered the realms of wonders. How do I enter? 
accept the Lord with everything. 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 My wife said to me in February, there was something I needed to do for, for the family. And she said to me, said, Oni, can you do this thing? Because I know as soon as you start this project, you are in no-go area. She knows. Because why? Everything. Can I deviate? I don't pay tight according to 10%. I don't live my life on a man's explanation. I live my life on scripture, I believe. Scriptures. Scriptures. I've seen men like Rockefeller who reigned in the realms of surplus because of a covenant practice of tithing. Abraham met with Melchizedek and parted with 10%. Am I speaking here? Do you tithe here, sir? I don't give God tithe in a month that is less than one million Nigerian naira if he does not bless me at all. So in a month, if God does not bless me, like you will say, I can't give him a tithe less than a million. There's an amount that can't leave me as offering on Sunday when I'm in church. When I'm not in church, the finance department knows somebody is not in church because my contribution in terms of offering and tithe is a reason for the accounts to breathe well. So God didn't have to stammer to tell me to build him a house because he knows I will command my household after him. There's a realm I will pray. To. Don't try to study me because your fuse will blow. I don't know how God tricks me, but I just know like Moses B said, he did pamper me. He will always go ahead of me. That's one thing I enjoy. Joseph said to the brothers, he said, don't cut yourself. God sent me ahead. Man of God, God knew that such a time as this, I was going to be coming to St. Catherine. And he knows that this, my son cannot go. I must forerun him. I must go ahead of him. I must establish a diary in St. Catherine's who is going to receive him with a red carpet because he's not an ordinary man. Listen to me. The covenants of yesterday will speak in the future. It's not where you sow, it's what you sow. Can I do some things here? Destiny orchestrated us. Because I can't just come and go like that. There's someone who is tied to my loins, who is under your covering, that I need to speak a word over. And I just came to tell you, the secret of it all is Jesus. The second secret of it all is more of Jesus. The third secret of it all is much more more of Jesus. Stand on your feet.